How you doing? My name is Ken Primola. I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Gracie style of Jiu Jitsu. Um, been doing Jiu Jitsu a little bit over 12 years. Wrestled most of my life. I want to talk about basics, fundamentals in Jiu Jitsu, and also with the new style, the new game, and stuff like that. Um, and I think to, to get into this topic, I was just talking with one of my students about it, uh, who's actually filming it right now. Um, we're talking about we we were talking about the question, why would you do Jiu Jitsu? Um, now, if you're doing it to get in shape, uh, maybe short term, or it, it's just fun, or you just want to impress somebody or something for a short duration, I think this conversation should end right now. If you're serious about Jiu Jitsu and you're serious about getting good at Jiu Jitsu, I think you have to have a deeper understanding of the basics and you have to learn the fundamentals um, above everything else. To understand the, the high level games like Marcelino and the X guard, you know, Mendes Brothers with their tricky guard and situations, Cabrino with his cross guard, Hobson with the cross guard, um, some of those guys I've spent some time with, um, you have to understand and have solid, a solid foundation, solid principles, solid principled basics, I believe, in order to make that game very strong. You know, if you're just learning X guard from day one and that's your tactic, you know, how could you say it, um, Zach? You were talking about tactical chess. Why don't Why don't you talk about that? Tactical Tact chess. Tactical chess players. If you could talk like, to near the camera. Like if you're just like a, like a speed chess player, like these guys, you know, like in Washington Square Park in New York, and and I know in the '80s and early '90s there used to be loads of chess boards in Times Square, and these guys would sit there. They're just playing for drug money. They're like little hustlers, and they, and and they have a really good tactical understanding of chess, and they can play extremely quickly, and They'll beat the large majority of people, but if you know, but if they ever took that type of uh, style to a real tournament, uh -huh. and uh, just like a world class chess tournament, and try to apply just a tactical game <clears throat> against a like a classically um, trained chess player, it just it's just not going to work. I mean, you cannot apply tactics without an overarching strategy guiding them. If you do that, you're going to blow yourself up. And just, I mean, it, like you're just not going to get anywhere. What's the point of it? So yeah. that's like. The understand that I got through chess. I, I agree, and I think um, I think in saying that, it's not to say you shouldn't learn those things. You shouldn't try to understand everything, um, but it's going to be very difficult if you don't speak that language, speak it, speak the basics of the language well. And you know, Zach's actually he lived in Brazil for a few years. He's teaching me Portuguese right now, and it's helping my jiu-jitsu a lot because, I mean, my experience in Portuguese. I lived in Brazil for some time. Had a girlfriend who didn't help me speak any uh, any any Portuguese, even though she didn't speak any English, and a lot of other people who just taught me quick stuff. I think tactical stuff to get by. You know, I look at my Portuguese now when I'm trying to write it, and it sucks. So I'm going like slowly. We're freaking doing techniques at the website. It's taking forever and ever and ever. But I'm learning. That's that's the process. That's the reality of the situation. And if I why am I doing Portuguese? Is it to be cool? Is it to teach jujitsu? Ultimately, it has to be for something important, in my opinion, in order, for me, in order for me to back up and learn the basics. And, you know, possibly one day it's going to be business, teaching. I am, I do enjoy the culture and I enjoy the people. So I believe I want to learn the basics because I think it's going to help my overall strategy and game and lifestyle within that language. Um, I think the same thing with jiu-jitsu. You got to have the basics solid. Otherwise, you're going to get nabbed and you're going to get caught up with somebody who has solid classical training in it and it can be difficult for you. Again, it's not to say you don't go to Joe's seminar who's just the world champ, but if you're just a beginner and, and you don't know anything, it still has value. But, you know, if you're trying all these fancy moves because of some name or something or because some guy is big and strong and you're not that type of person, I'm not so sure for me how valuable that is. I like to get the deeper understanding of the basics. Again, not saying which one is better or worse, but I think it's important to understand your game, your basics, and not get um, get your vision clouded by what's out there, what's hot, what's today. And I've been in jiu-jitsu for a while and I've studied this history, so I see a lot of where those things stem from and I watch their games as they develop and they did have good a good understanding of basics. In my opinion, Marcelino has good basics and then you know he kind of gravitated toward that X-guard and he did it really quick. It's not just that he did it, he did it quick and he had stuff to back it up. And therefore I think it worked out well for him. Um, I also take a look at Russian wrestling. It's a big part of my life studying what they do. 
And you look at American wrestling, it's tough, it's aggressive, but it's not as well grounded in my opinion. When they go on the attack, a lot of the times the attacks end after one or two movements. The Russians will put themselves in positions where if they miss one shot, they still have the positional awareness and strategy and basic positioning to, in order to go to other shots. It's not like it's all these fancy moves. Sometimes the Americans are like, man, I want to do all these throws. I had a kid in here who's just talking about throws and throws. I'm thinking, man, you can't do anything to me. Low-level shots, you can't block my shots, you can't take me down, but you want to learn everything else. What's the point? You know, why are you doing it? Is it fun? Do you want to get looked at? Or, or do you really want to become a wrestler? If you really want to learn jiu-jitsu and you're really serious, I suggest you learn the fundamentals well. I'm learning the fundamentals well every day. I don't even want to compete unless I learn jiu-jitsu all over again. And you know, I look at myself when I have competed and the tactics I've used and it's just like, eh, uh, okay, I won, uh, that looks good, but like, my reasons were, were not deep in my opinion. And today, you know, when I do compete again one day, which I for sure will, um, I want to have a, a much deeper understanding and, and, and represent and respect the sport a lot better than just the trash that I've been putting out there. So that's my opinion. Uh, let's hear your opinion and let's hear, discuss your thoughts. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Zach. I appreciate it.